hydrates. They're monomers and monosaccharides. Big links are polysaccharides formed by glycosidic linkages. Ooh, structure and storage. Starch, cellulose, and glycogen. Cellulose is in the plant cells. You have the enzymes to break them down. Alpha glucose is helical. Beta glucose is straight. They have hydroxyl groups, but in a different place. Makes their function not the same. Organic compounds, they all contain carbon chains. They're one of a kind. They vary in length, shape, and size. Macromolecules. Ooh, onto lipids, used for energy storage. Steroids, phospholipids, and fats form with ester linkages. Hey, quick go back, unsat, unsat, fat straight. Carbon chain or a kink in it, keep it liquid or solid at room temp. Double or single bonds to take a look at its structure. There's fatty the acid chains. Don't forget about the glycerol or four fused rings or a phospholipid head. Now let's talk nucleic acids, nucleotides, or monomers. Add a bunch together with phosphodiester linkages. That's how you make a chain. They all have nitrogenous base, CTG, UNA. They build for genes to form DNA with a double helix. Macromolecules. Baby O Pro and Baby O Teens, so many functions more than you have ever seen. Transport, structure, storage, and defense. You got me making amino acid chains. Polypeptides are the polymers with four levels of structure. Primary all the way to quaternary. They have an R group and peptide bonds. Biological macromolecules. We break them down with hydrolysis. When you take a water out, it's called dehydration synthesis. That's how you build them up. They all have functional groups, carboxyl amino and phosphate too. We need them to live and we can find some in our fit food. Macromolecules. Macromolecules. Yeah, yeah. Macromolecules.